go about what's important, and that's money. Money talks in the situation. The events live right uh, live happen in the morning, daytime hours. Um, the most money that NBC can, can make is by showing the best events in prime time. Here's why: it's because advertisers pay more for that. NBC spent a billion plus dollars on the Olympics. They are probably not even going to make that back, but they've got to do the best they can. And so what they're doing is they're putting those events in prime time for a reason, and the reason is. Uh, for money. Here's the thing, those, it's getting great ratings. It had 40 million viewers tuned in to see the opening games. They're averaging 35 million viewers per night. The key demo, those 18 to 49 year olds, who the advertisers want to watch, that's huge right now, which means that families are tuning in to watch. So, NBC, whether it's a good or bad idea, it's good for them because they're going to make more money by airing the events, not live, but in prime time. NBC is, they're making mistakes along the way. Today's show aired a promo revealing the results of the Olympics before it happened. So NBC making mistakes like that is tough. Otherwise, Hayden, yeah, a small percentage is going to be bad, but the numbers show that more people, the families, the people that maybe don't have Twitter, uh, they're tuning in. So NBC doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to pay much, too much concern to the percentage of people that are tweeting that they're mad. Money is not going to talk in the old school way that it's talking now for much longer. Sooner or later, the younger generation, the generation that, that views more events on their phones, the generation that wants to see things live and tweet about it live, sooner or later, uh, advertisers and networks are going to have to realize that. And I don't know if it's one year from now or four years from now or ten years from now, but eventually what's happening in the 2012 Olympics will not be acceptable. If I know that, that Phelps lost and, and did horrible, I still kind of want to see that because I want to see his reaction, you know. So I'm not necessarily, oh, I'm not going to watch because I know happened live. The, opt the Olympics is about storytelling this year. You see that you're going to get to see stories that you're not going to see by watching it live, and you're going to get to see the emotional reactions, Hayden, the parents' reactions to uh, the gymnastics events. It's, it's moments like that that aren't going to detour me as someone who enjoys watching good storytelling.